Welcome back. Well, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were already back on the practice field today for their first of three mandatory minicamp workouts, and every player was there, but not everyone actually put on the pad. Sports anchor Kyle Berger explains from one buck. The big news out of day one of Buccaneers mandatory minicamp is that number 45 Devin White was on the field. Now he wasn't practicing, but it's a sign that the linebacker will not be holding out over an offseason contract dispute. Head coach Todd Bowles says that White is present for all the right reasons and not just here to avoid getting fined. No, it's not a hold in. We like to see where he is physically, so we don't feel like we need to put him out here right now until we test him and do everything. So two or three days of camp is not going to help him that way. White is set to make around $11 million this season, but was looking for a big time contract extension instead. When the Bucks didn't give it to him, he requested a trade. His mindset is good. I mean, it's just business. That's part of it that takes care of itself. He'll be ready for training camp. He'll be good to go. A handful of players were present but not practicing due to injury, including linebacker Shaq Barrett, who was recovering from an Achilles injury last season, and wide receiver Russell Gage, who has been sidelined with an undisclosed injury. When we get everybody in the building, you can kind of like feel how the team is coming together. Uh, we get the bond a little bit more. You know, we kind of just pick up like where we left off. You know, Devin and, and, and Shaq are, are big pieces of our team. So like when we see them around, they kind of like boost guys' spirits. Um, you know, it just kind of makes things feel a bit whole. The Bucks will be back on the field Wednesday and Thursday for the final two mandatory minicamp workouts. In Tampa, Kyle Berger, ABC Action News.